Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andrew Seegers, and this time we're joined by Rogers Bass and John Cartwright to discuss everything we know about Mario Tennis Aces, as well as everything we want to see. So let's get started. Alright guys, so Nintendo unveiled the next Mario Tennis game about a week ago or so in the Mini Direct, uh, which we've already talked about a little bit, Roger, on our uh, Nintendo Direct discussion, yep. but wanted to dive in a little bit deeper, because we've had some time to, you know, think about this game, to process what all we saw, and I thought it'd be fun to dive in, you know, even deeper and discuss what else we want to see in this game. Like, what does Camelot need to do to make this game a worthy Mario Tennis game? John, let's start with start off with you. Uh, what was your initial reaction to the trailer, and what do you think of it now? Has anything changed since you've, uh, you know, since we've had a week to process all this? Well, for the debut, my, my initial reaction was one frame of this is better than the entirety <laughs> of Ultra Smash. I, I despise that game so much. I mean, it's, it's like one stadium, um, it has no extra modes, um, the character roster is like the same size as the original game. It's just such a bad, bad game. Same size, but less interesting than the original game somehow. Right, <laughs> yeah, and like the only real new character, well, I think Rosalina was new, but apart from that, we had this Brixy Fairy? Yeah, well, that's right. And Dry yeah. Bowser, you can't forget Dry Bowser. Oh, of course, Dry Bowser. Yeah, so unique. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pretty. So it sounds like you're looking forward to this one. Absolutely, yeah. And I, I don't think my opinions have really changed that much. Uh, if anything, I'm looking forward to it more. I just want to know more about this game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also, I'm also really liking how the chance shots looks um, look too, because they're just that one lone color, just the purple ones. Right. Um, and it'd be interesting to see how they change that up, because they kind of seem like they appear less frequently, too. So that's really interesting. How about you, Roger? So you want to give a quick recap of your uh, of your stance on this game, or if it has changed at all since the reveal? Yeah, I mean, since the GameCube game, I think everything's just been going downhill. <laughs> I love Mario Tennis 64, and I love Mario Power Tennis. And Power Tour is really good, too, the one that's on GBA. Um, so I shouldn't say everything's going downhill, but since then, pretty much like all the Mario Tennis games, the one that was on 3DS... Uh, Ultra Smash, I just like not been a fan, and I think that they just have sort of been churning them out, bringing out the same exact courts over and over again, barely adding new characters, and the very first thing courts? I saw in this... As in more than one? <laughs> well, I, I mean, courts, yeah, I'm using that like very liberally, because you had like the clay court and the grass court, right, or true. the peach dome or whatever in the 3DS one, um, and this one already looks so much more varied... I think that like all the cool single player modes, like the boss battles against Petey Piranha look really fun. And I'm just like super excited for a good Mario tennis game again. Like just even based on the very first thing that we saw in the trailer, which was Mario like running out with a tennis visor. Yep. He already mm. looks different than all the other Mario tennis games. So right there, I'm like, oh, cool. This is a breath of fresh air. This is what I've been waiting for for the series. And uh, tennis has always been my favorite of the Mario sports series. I really, really like tennis. I'm not a huge fan of Mario Golf. And Mario Baseball I love, but Strikers I'm also not super hot on. Um, so I was just really happy to see a good Mario Tennis game again. And I'm hoping that they don't disappoint with the roster. That's my yeah. biggest gripe with this. And I, I think the courts will be okay based on what we've seen. But I am really concerned about the roster because the roster for Ultra Smash was smaller or just the same as the roster from the N64 game. Mm -hmm. So at the very least... Give us a little more variety with the characters, and we'll talk about predictions and stuff later on in the discussion, so I won't get into it now, but my hopes are very high for this one, which right. is good. I think even seeing, like, Mario and Luigi and Wario and Waluigi again, they've completely redesigned them, so yeah, it's yeah. almost interesting to see the original roster come back and how they're going to change them about. Right. So even just recurring characters are interesting in this. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you see, it's impressive that from the very first frame, essentially, you can already tell this game is a pretty big step up from Ultra Smash. However, that it doesn't take much to accomplish that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I do love, it does seem like that they are taking a lot of those criticisms to heart with how, from the very beginning, you can tell that they're actually wearing custom gear this time, which they've never done in a Mario Tennis game before, except for the Virtual Boy one, uh, way back when. Um, and then they have court introductions now, and when I was doing the analysis... And I went back to play Ultra Smash again, and it's shocking how bare bones that game is. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I knew it was bare bones. I remember it being bare bones. But going back to it, it's like, holy crap, there really is nothing here. It's the kind of game that if you see a screenshot of the game, you've seen 90% of the content already in it, which is ridiculous. So uh -huh. I am very cautiously optimistic still for this. Uh, I like what I've seen. Um, in, and the, the analysis kind of 
further gave me um, like hope for this game, although a few hesitations as well. So, for instance, one of the things I discovered is the cool, the new, the new in quotes, cool looking cord we see, where, like with the LCD screens everywhere. That's literally the same cord from Ultra Smash. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it is exact same <laughs> yeah, design. It's the same same roof and everything too, like the same screen, same tennis ball. Yep, they just it, add- it's quite cool that they've made it look interesting though. Like that's that's the most boring court in all of Mario yeah. Tennis. And yep. they've just turned it into something that looks really, really cool. Well, I'm kind of, I'm of the mindset of what a bunch of people were sort of predicting when we first saw the trailer, which is that they were probably developing this for Wii U pretty early on. And then they were like, you know what? Let's just release the HD demo that we created. Let's just make mm-hmm. Ultra Smash. Let's make some quick buck off of this. The Wii U's not doing good anyway. We could churn this out for the holiday and let's continue to work on the next real Mario Tennis game. That's really how I feel about Ultra Smash. It's like looking back on it, especially compared to this, it's clear that that was probably like a tech demo that they said, you know what? If we put a little more polish into this, we could just release it as a full game. Yeah, I totally buy that. I mean, in, in what in what universe can you release a, a core Mario Tennis game with one stadium? I mean, they've, this has that has to be the reason. Yeah. And the online functionality in that too was like so minimal. It was so. Oh bad. yeah, you couldn't play with friends, could you? Yeah, no. Oh man, yeah. It didn't even have ring shot mode, a mode that appeared in the very first Mario Tennis, and I think most of the ones since, if not all the ones since, wasn't here. Instead, it had the stupid gimmick crap with the Mega Mushrooms as the primary new uh. mode, not even the side mode. Mega Mushrooms yeah. would have been the side mode in any of the Mario Tennis game. Here, they position it as the next big thing, so to speak. And it wasn't good. It wasn't fun. It was stupid. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm thinking back on that. Like, oh my god, how bad that... Even when I played it at E3. Like, I'm thinking back to that E3. It was Amiibo Festival, Mario Tennis <laughs> Ultra Smash, and Star Fox Zero. Oh and like, god. if I would have known that that was going to be my next year for Nintendo... <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, that was a rough one. Like, it's so funny to look at Nintendo during that era of the Wii U and then look at Nintendo now. And just like the innovative stuff they're doing with Labo and like all the other cool third parties that are coming back. And then even like the small adjustments they're making to something like Mario Tennis. And it just seriously feels like a different company. Yeah. Like, this is the Nintendo that I love. This is the Nintendo that I wish was making a Mario Tennis game in the Wii era. Where was this Nintendo three years ago? <laughs> well, I, I totally agree. Um, and actually, I was on the Kind of Funny podcast a couple days ago. I don't think this has gone up yet. I think it goes up on Monday for everyone. But uh, they did bring up an interesting point, I thought. And I think I agree with. I wonder if you'd agree with it, though, Roger and John. Is that had they announced Labo... Let's say they announced Labo during that E3. The one with um, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival and Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I think the reception would have been so much different to Labo if that if it were announced then. People would be like, Nintendo's literally lost it. They have no idea what they're doing. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. definitely. It's, it's all the vibe. Uh, in the it Mini is. Direct, the reason they didn't have Labo in there is because they're going for a different audience with right. a different in- vibe entirely. And like separate it from that just completely completely sets a new tone Mm -hmm. um yes absolutely it would not have set fire to the world if it just debuted in that animal crossing um direct Mm -hmm. all right so one of the biggest things though is a story mode um they in the direct or in the trailer they compared it to the game boy advance games or more specifically that's what it sounds like they're doing but they're all they're really saying is it's the first story mode since the game boy advance mario tennis game and Mm -hmm. i think that may so when I when we first saw the trailer, like you know, we didn't have too much to go off. I didn't show too much of it, but I think tying it into the ga- the portable versions of the game or the series, I think was a little bit deceptive, perhaps, because those games had those really in depth like RPG mechanics where you're, like level up your characters and there's you know proper story and like NPCs and whatnot. Whereas here, I still think it looks cool, but I think what we're getting is a much more arcade story type mode like uh, along the lines of um if you guys play the mario baseball games i think specifically the wii one they had yeah. the world map you'd go through where you'd like travel like kingdom to kingdom you would have these exhibition matches and then you would get those characters if you beat that team you would like get that captain so that's what i'm kind of thinking is going to be the case here i don't think you'd be leveling up or anything i think you'll just travel level to level playing through those mini game type ch- type challenges taking on bosses and then um, we also saw some exhibition matches, like one against Donkey Kong. I think I tell you probably unlock characters in this game. You'll just beat them, and you'll add them to your roster. So I still think that's cool, but I don't think it's quite as in depth as some people may have thought based on how they presented it in the trailer. Mm. Uh huh. It looks more like a standard Mario world map, like in Mario World on New Super Mario Bros. U. Right. Uh, I think that's fine, but yeah, it's kind of deceptive to compare it to the Game Boy Advance games. And by the way, here in Europe, um, Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Advance and GameCube had the exact same name. They were both called Mario Power Tennis. What? So when you bring up, yes, when you bring up the other one, I'm just like, what game's that? <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, I mean, I was catching a lot of flack for calling it, like, an RPG story mode when we did our immediate discussion after the Direct, and I... I was just saying that because that's kind of what it was like on the GBA, right? You had, like, right. RPG elements. Um, and, again, I agree with you. I don't think it's going to be that. I think it is going to be more of an arcade mode. But I would love to see some type of RPG elements added to it. I mean, like, one of my biggest surprises last year is something I really fell in love with was Golf Story. Mm -hmm. And so now mm. that I've had a game that, like, sort of infused those RPG elements back into, the like, the sports genre, right. and it's something that I haven't played in a while, I kind of want to see it in a mainline Mario game. Maybe they'll save that for, like, whatever the next Mario Golf is. And I would be fine with that because Mario Tennis has always been to me more of a multiplayer experience than a single player experience, whereas the golf games have been sort of more single player to me. Um, but I mean, on the whole, I mean, even if it's just an arcade mode where you unlock fighters, that's still, I called them fighters. fighters. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, Brothers announcement. exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, no, I, I'm totally fine with that. I think that would be okay. And that would certainly be better than whatever we had before. So right. yeah, no, that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, really all Mario Tennis Aces needs to do, and I'm hopeful it'll do more than this, but this game needs to be the one that sets the Mario sports game back on the right track. The Mario yes. sports series. Mm -hmm. They need to prove that they can make a good one again, because it has been, I don't know how long it's been since the, since the last decent one. I guess the Mario Tennis on, on, uh, 3DS Mario Tennis open, I think. Was uh -huh. that don't, it? okay. Don't, don't even. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, so not like that, <laughs> that one's weird because it had, it had the framework of a decent game, but it completely dropped it in terms of like the mechanics. Like that's where they introduced chance shots. I think chance shots ruined tennis. Mm -hmm. um, but had you been able to turn them off, I don't think you could in that game. You could in Ultra Smash, but not open. Right. Um, the one actually decent feature Ultra Smash had. You could turn off the stupid <laughs> gimmicks. Um, so, so I think it's part of the game back on the right track. Something this game needs, not necessarily because it needs it per se, even though I just said that, but it would send the right message, is this game really should have a CG opening, like an elaborate CG opening like yes. the sports games used to have. Yes, like yes, yes. Everyone used to have it. Even the 64 ones, they weren't CG, but they had real-time openings, real-time cutscene openings. The Mario Power Tennis games uh, and the Mario Golf games on GameCube, amazing openings. They were like full-length cartoon shorts almost. And even the Wii ones, they weren't quite as elaborate. They still had little story-based intros too. Bring that back. Like that will set the mood and the tone for the entire game. You are preaching mm -hmm. to the choir because that is something that like I loved about those games. That's something I loved about the GameCube era in general. Right. Like all of those amazing openings. I remember when Brawl first leaked on Wii and they showed the opening of Brawl and it was basically just a bunch of gameplay and cuts like parts of the cutscenes from Subspace. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited to see what the actual opening of Brawl was going to be. And I remember putting in the disc for the first time and seeing it wasn't an elaborate CG opening like Melee and being like, come on, man, really? And then when we got like... Uh, Smash 4, and it was basically like the very first trailer we ever had of the game. It's like, are you serious? Really? This is the opening? So, yeah, I would love something more akin to like the, the one that was on GameCube. And uh, I, I think if they add a bunch of like really quirky new characters to it, too, it could be really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think Mario Power Tennis on GameCube has one of the best openings of any Mario game. So it's good. this really funny like comic duo of Waluigi and, um, and Wario, and it's it's so good. I, I want like a proper movie of those two characters. It's that yeah. good. <laughs> no, seriously. That's partly what makes me want to have like a Wario and Waluigi game replace Mario and Luigi series. I think those two characters play off each other so well. You can have a whole game based around just their hijinks, as proven in that intro, which is just hilarious. Man, uh, if Wario and Waluigi honestly replaced the Mario and Luigi series, I would play the Mario and Luigi series again. I really yeah, would. Same here. I, I got bored of the series, but yeah, that'll bring me back. That would allow them to just go balls to the wall with how insane it is. Um, and also, going back to Mario Power Tennis, not only did it have an amazing opening, it had an amazing ending. Do you remember in the credits where they had actual Pixar-like outtakes where they're screwing up all oh, different yes. shots and like, <laughs> running into boom mics and whatnot? <laughs> that was pretty great. Oh, it was so awesome, yeah. So yeah, that would, that would be a great start to showing that Camelot understands what it takes to make a great game. And this is the time to bring it back, too, with them having a story mode. They really should have a proper intro for that. So, mm -hmm. um, now, of course, another big important thing is actual gameplay. How is that going to work? It's tennis. You would think it's not hard to screw up, but we just talked about in Ultra Smash and Open. They found ways. So, luckily, it seems like chance shots, as we already said, appear to not be back aside from the Purple Star ones, which is great. Um, beyond that, though, the trailer does hint at a couple of new, maybe one or two me new mechanics. Uh, this, the announcer specifically says that it's going to have new wrinkles in Mario Tennis gameplay that will challenge your ability to read an opponent's position and stroke. Now, on top of this, there's also a couple meters you can see at, uh, in a couple of scenes that apparently fill up when you serve. Uh, I'm guessing there's other ways to fill them up, but we don't see how that works in the game. So I was wondering what 
uh, expectations you guys might have based on that, or if you have any ideas as to how the uh, the meters might work. Because there's one scene at the very end where we can see Mario doing like a super powerful shot, and it literally breaks Wario's racket in half. So I wonder if that's tied to the meters, and <laughs> if you have any other thoughts or hopes for how the game might actually play. Well, I, I think if you're going to have a move that breaks another player's racket, <laughs> there has to be a comeback move. That can't be something that the person winning right. should be getting. I hope so. I can, so I, yeah, I'd imagine that you get... Uh, your your gauge may fill up if you do worse. Maybe I, I'm not really sure because um, we we've seen that when you return a shot, your your gauge doesn't really move up at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think maybe it's some kind of thing to try and bring back the other player. So maybe if you keep losing shots, that's what fills up your gauge. Hmm. Mm. The last thing I feel like we need in Mario Tennis is a blue shell, though. So like <laughs> I I would actually really be against that. I wouldn't be against it if it was something that you could turn off. Right. Um. But I actually I agree with John too. I think it's probably more of a comeback move than it is something that like you could get while you're already winning. But who knows? Maybe it is just something where like you're doing really well, and they just want you to absolutely cream your opponent, and so you have this super mm -hmm. meter where then you slam the ball into the racket and <laughs> explodes. But I don't know. Um. Well, I guess since we're already kind of talking about gimmick type things, perhaps. Uh, I love gimmicks. They're one of my favorite things in the Mario Tennis games or the Mario Sports games. Something I was missing in Ultra Smash, besides the stupid Mega Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering what other kind of ideas you guys might hope for this game in general. Like, were there any other um, modes you might want to see come back from past games? For instance, for me, uh, Mario Tennis 64 had the amazing Bowser Court, which is basically Mario Kart in tennis <gasps> form. You literally... Oh, come on, man. You stole my but, Here, you, you take it then. You go for it, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I completely agree with you. I think they should absolutely bring back the Bowser Court. Like, the way where the court would actually shift and tilt yeah. while you were playing on I it, and you had the physics. little item boxes. Dude, it was so good. I never understood why they didn't bring that back. I think that right? was such an awesome mode. And, uh, yeah, that's literally number one on my list as something they should bring back for this game specifically, bring back the Bowser Court from <laughs> Mario Tennis 64, please. It was so good. Like, I think not only should it be a court, it should just be a mode. Have Mario Kart mode on any court you want with those ion boxes and be able to use different power-ups like mushrooms and shells. That was such a great idea. Uh, yeah. Like, it's a sh I, like, why hasn't that come back? Like, that's such a, such a silly thing not to bring back. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, completely. There were a few things in Mario Tennis Open I actually quite liked. Um, there's that one mode where you sort of go through a level of Super Mario Bros. That was and cool. And you have to hit the ball uh, against that against the levels. I think something like that returning would be quite cool. Right. And then there's another very specific court, which was Mario Galaxy themed. And do you remember those green panels that when you step on them, they kind of shrink away? Mm hmm yeah, and um, those were in the court, so you kind of, whenever you hit the ball in there, it would just shrink away and take away parts of the arena. So I'm thinking maybe more uh, interactive courts that kind of play on that mechanic and um, just sort of shake things up a bit more. Uh, I guess we kind of saw that a little bit with um, the warp pipes in that Donkey Kong level, so maybe there's going to be more stuff like that. What if the warp pipes literally don't do anything? They're just there for decoration. Yeah, if they're just there for show, then that's, <laughs> that's a waste of potential. But like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it now, actually. The Bowser Castle Court was in the GameCube one. They did have that in the GameCube one. And actually, the classic Mario Brothers Court you were talking about that was in the 3DS game was also in the GameCube version. So the GameCube version really just did everything right. Like, Pretty if much. they just took everything from the GameCube <laughs> version and added to it, we'll be good to go. Because some, some of the courts, man, in the GameCube one, like, the even the Gooper Blooper Court, where, like, you would, you would hit the tile with the ball and then the tile would shift... And, like, the water underneath the court would be revealed, and then oh, if the ball yeah, landed in there, it yeah. was an out. That was such a fun, unique court. And more things like that, I think, are what we need. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, so that is something that kind of concerns me just a little bit. But we've already seen, it seems to me there are already at least three courts in the game. I'm sure there'll be many more based on the fact mm -hmm. that you can, you can see the world map and where else you might be going. However, those courts that we've seen so far, and granted, we haven't seen much of them, so I could be off base here. They do look just a little bit generic compared uh, compared to like power tennis, as you said, where you had like Delfino-based courts or Bowser's court, you know, Bowser's castle courts, um, or the classic Mario court, where you're literally playing in pretty much original Mario Brothers arcade game. So I'm hoping we do see some more like uh, courts rooted in Mario as opposed to kind of generic forests and yeah, well, forests, I guess. <laughs> That's all we've seen so far is forests and the Ultra Smash court. So. Mm -hmm. One question I have is, um, should the original characters come back? Because if you remember, uh, in the handheld games, in the RPGs, you go through the entirety, well, pretty much the entirety, as your own, well, as one of the pre-selected human characters. 
and they also made it into the console games. Uh, I think they're, they're more prominent in the go- in the uh, golf games, but they were in the tennis games too. So, do you want them to return the humans? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually wow. Well, I'm kind of I'm kind of with John. I think yeah. Bring back Sylvia. Bring back Kyle. Man, I remember some of the guys from Power Tour. I don't remember the names of the ones that were in the Mario Tennis for N64, but I remember some of them from GBA. And I did think it was a kind of weird, quirky thing that they just decided to throw in, like, these original human characters into the mm-hmm. mix. And, uh, yeah, I think that would actually be kind of quirky and funny. I would like to see that. So long as it doesn't take away from the actual roster of Mario characters. Oh, I think if they're supplemental... The slots argument here, aren't well, not, we? <laughs> well, I mean, not yet. Not yet. But I'm saying I, I do think that it would be fun to have maybe one or two, like, throwback human characters. Yeah. Or just make a couple original ones. I As a throwback, yeah, I could see that. Well, actually, should we, since we're already talking about let's talk about what characters we'd like to see then. So... As a throw, so actually two thoughts here. One, if they're gonna bring humans into this game, they should just bring a new donk human. Bring one of them in instead. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> that'd be funny. Oh. Pauline has to be in for sure. Okay, Paul. Yes, yeah, Pauline, Pauline definitely. Pauline better be in here, uh, along with a new Donk City Court. By the way, that would be amazing. Just oh yes, having, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like taxis driving through your court for no reason. You have to dodge them. Man, I would I would kill if the Bowser Castle court that we were just talking about was redone to look like the Japanese style Bowser's Castle Kingdom Ooh, that we yes. saw in Mario Odyssey. Oh, oh. oh, and that's so easy they could just use those assets. They have them for Mario Odyssey. Toss those in there. I would love it. For, I almost feel like I I mean there isn't, but I almost feel like you could I can already picture like a tennis court already in that level. Like it just makes yeah, sense yeah, to yeah. me for some reason. Like the area the mm. area where you battle the brutals right before you go up and battle the right. mech for the first time, there's literally a giant open area that could pretty much be a tennis court. You know, New Do- or Mario Odyssey would be a great game to take things from in general. A, a yeah. moon based court of lower gravity would be awesome. Um, that totally affects how the ball bounces. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, getting back to throwback characters, though, if you if they want to do the ultimate throwback, uh, they should bring back Donkey Kong Jr., who was yes. in the original mm. Mario Tennis yes. 64, the first Camelot Tennis game. Bring him back. He that poor guy has not been in anything in what decades. It's time. This is a perfect te- perfect You're chance. Speaking to do my it. language, Andre. I, <laughs> I was gonna bring him up, man. I think DK Jr. was awesome, and I think like the great thing about the N64 roster compared to Power Tennis and some of the other ones that came out, is like, even if you look at Power Tennis's roster, there were like two Shy Guys in that game. There were like two different Koopa Troopas. There were a lot of like basic enemies that they really didn't need to have. They could have thrown EGAD in there. There were a lot of characters from the GameCube era they could have used, even like a Pianta or something like that, that they didn't. I think the baseball games have always done a really good job of like implementing a ton of different characters and having a good variety. And so I hope that for this one, they do kind of go back to the variety of the N64 one, where there were literally no filler characters. Like there weren't a bunch of babies. There was one baby. There was Baby Mario. That was it. (laughs) There wasn't like a bunch of different Kongs. It was Donkey Kong and then Donkey Kong Jr. You know, they didn't have like multiple versions. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's one of the problems with the Mario Kart 8 roster, is it feels like you can just lump these characters into, like, three or four different groups. You got the babies, you got the Kooplings, you got the main the main Mario cast, and you got the metal characters. I think every character that has an amiibo will probably be playable. I think all of, like, the Mario set amiibos will probably end up being playable. So I don't know how many characters there are in that set, um, but I think we'll probably get all of those. And I'm also guessing that we'll probably get a Captain Toad. I think Ooh. that's something we might get for this one, is Captain Toad and Pauline seem like givens to me. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. When you said Amiibo, that brought to mind that there is a, uh, a Gold Mario Amiibo, so maybe oh, Pink no. Gold Peach and Gold Mario are going to be in. <laughs> oh I'd be okay with them if they were just like, you skins. tap the Amiibo and then unlock them as skins. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be okay. That'd be okay. That'd be passable, as long as it's not like a way better version of Mario that just makes normal yeah. Mario obsolete. So. I would love, though, if you click down like the 30th anniversary Mario, and you get like a pixelated 3D version oh, of Mario that would be super be really sick. cool. <laughs> or even like maybe like a Mario 64 model or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. Or like just rip from Mario Tennis 64, that'd be <laughs> there so There you cool. go. <laughs> I also think even, even for characters like the, the standard Boo, like I know there is already a Boo amiibo, but if you want like more floating type characters like that, I could actually see them adding Cappy to the game. Because uh, Cappy's pretty much a Boo as is, and the Boos oh. were nowhere to be seen in Mario Odyssey, so I think they could do Cappy. Um, Wait, and then also, we have Cappy in his uh, ghost-like form? Or yeah, in his ghost form. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Or they could do uh, King Boo from Luigi's Mansion, who's already in a bunch of, like, he's in Mario Kart and stuff, and they yeah. haven't thrown him into this. They could plop him in here, too. Well, he was in Ultra Smash. Oh, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I don't blame him for, forget, for forgetting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think what would be a cool addition is based on a recent game, Bring Rabbit Peach in here. 
Ooh, that'd oh, be really interesting. I Absolutely. could see them doing some type of tie-in with the rabbits, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing how they redesign some other characters too. Like, we've seen um, Mario and Luigi have visors on their head. What are we going to do with Toad? Because he has a giant <laughs> mushroom. That's true. Oh. <laughs> well, he, we, in Mario Odyssey, he wears headphones on his hat for some reason instead of on his ears. Oh, and so, come to think of it, yeah, Captain Toad has the flashlight like underneath <laughs> where his giant mushroom is, so it would probably look something similar to that too. Yeah. Right. I, I think we get a little glimpse of Donkey Kong in the trailer, and he looks exactly the same, but there is a story mode sequence. So what if there are alternative costumes, and when you're playing actual tennis games, maybe they go in, the, in their gear then? I'm not really sure how that works out, but... um. You can quite you can quite easily give Donkey Kong some tennis gear, like just yeah. give him a little visor, or or even give him a different tie or something. Maybe like this is pretty out there, but maybe you can unlock gear and at, and equip it manually on your characters. I mean, that would be cool. Yeah. I, I'm excited to just see the princesses outfits. Like I always like the tennis outfits and the sports outfits for the princesses. The I know that sounds outfits. really weird, yeah. bro. Like I like them. I actually genuinely like that because then one that means my girlfriend will probably cosplay as some of these characters. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like I would love. I, I'm excited mm. to see like what Peach and what Pauline and what Rosalina are gonna look like in their new tennis gear. And I really do think Pauline's a given. I think if any new characters getting thrown in here mayor pauline is for sure gonna be in this game mm-hmm. yeah, she better be yeah <laughs> she, she i'd actually i'd like to see one of the toasterina skeletons as a playable character too i don't what's oh. what are they called exactly the little maraca guys yeah yeah, yeah. i don't remember oh, either yeah. Yeah. instead really, of maracas really cool. they can have tennis rackets it's perfect <laughs> i like that that's perfect mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Well, as you said, Andre, you can you can pluck anything from Odyssey, really, and just put it into this game. Because that, be that, that game has so much flavor, and there's yeah. so much stuff you can take from it. Yeah, I mean, this should just be Mario Odyssey Tennis. That's just, I'd be yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a court inside of the giant flower machine in the uh, in the Wooded Kingdom. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. like, God, flower petals flying everywhere. It would be so gorgeous. You could have the petals be, like, affected by the ball. Like, they'd all blow out. Like Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, so really the key thing for me is I want there to be a lot of diversity in this game. Not just in characters, just in everything. I want like different courts to play on. I want different modes to play in. Mini games, we kind of already touched on it earlier. Power Tennis though had a lot of great multiplayer mini games. Wasn't there like a Chain Chomp game in uh, Power Tennis where you were like racing against a Chain Chomp or trying to do hit it back? Or oh, something? I think, yeah, he was on like a conveyor belt or yeah. something and you sl- Yeah, uh, I remember yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where are the mini games at? <laughs> Bring those back. <laughs> I think those will probably be in the story mode, though. I think we'll probably like. I think all the mini games they develop for the story mode will probably be available for multiplayer play. Like, I don't think they're gonna put development time into all these extra mini games that they're gonna put in the single player, and then you could only play them if you like go into the single player mode. That seems really stupid. I and hope you're right. Who knows? I mean, like Ultra Smash, they made some pretty dumb decisions, but <laughs> I, I think they've learned their lesson, and I think they'll probably end up just making all that stuff like a regular mode in the game. Mm-hmm. Um. Because that was something really cool about Power Tour is like as you played through the game, there was like the little treadmill one, there was um, like the wall practice one, the jump gym, there was one where you were like on the little screws and you had to avoid fire. Do you remember this? Like there were a lot of really cool mini games in the GBA one. And considering they reference the GBA story mode, even if they're not referencing like the RPG aspects of it, right. I do think like all those cool little unique mini games could come back in some fashion or they can make new versions of them. So, mm-hmm. yeah. One thing I'm hoping for in the story is I don't want Bowser to be the final bit. I want either Wario or Waluigi or like maybe like a team kind of playoff against them because that's that's where Waluigi you know originated in tennis. Good point. I, I, I want them to play on that. Waluigi becomes the main villain of the Mario Tennis series. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> <laughs> Waluigi, he keeps getting the short end of the stick. Like yeah, he needs a more prominent role now. So I'm with you. I think that'd be cool. I think even just just multiplayer in this game actually as a whole because you can um, obviously play with split Joy Cons, which is huge for this kind of franchise. Yeah. Do you well, think I do be- love I do love the fact that like because Joy Cons have motion control, that we might be able to have motion control as an option because I, I still ask. think the uh-huh. best tennis game Nintendo's ever made is Wii Sports Tennis. Far and away, the best feeling tennis game. Period. And it might not have had, like, all the details that Mario Power Tennis did, all the gimmicks, but in terms of just, like, the feeling of playing tennis in a video game, that was, in my opinion, far and away the best. And if they could literally just take those mechanics and plop them into Mario Tennis, and you could use the motion control and the Joy-Cons, we're good to go. Didn't they kind of do that with the port of Mario Power Tennis on Wii? Yeah, it was, I was about awesome. To say, I didn't play that, so I'm not entirely sure how that how they did that. 
They yeah. did, and it was really good. <laughs> All right, nice. Do you know one really cool thing in Golf Story is when you hit your ball into the water, it kind of makes this like almost Pac-Man dying noise from HD Rumble. <laughs> I, like you can, it just makes an audible vibration, and I think you could possibly program HD Rumble to make those kind of noises like a Wii Remote. Well, John, you just said Pac-Man, and it made me think about like the Amiibo costumes from uh, oh, Mario Kart. Yeah. I'm wondering, do you guys yeah, think and, there's going to be like non-Mario things in this game? Like, are we going to get Link I in mean, the Inklings? Pac-Man's no stranger to Mario. We have him in the in the Mario Kart arcade game. Mm-hmm, I, I would love him to be in this. That'd be great. Yeah. Because they do, they have so many characters to work with from Mario Odyssey that it might, mm-hmm. it would actually be bad if they didn't utilize that and like put them in an actual Mario game, you know? Because they don't want this to turn into like Super Smash Brothers tennis or something, right? But you know, and have like all these guest characters. But I think it'd be cool. Like I was fine with Link, the Inklings, the Animal Crossing characters, and the costumes in Mario Kart Eight. So if they did something like that, where maybe it was like I don't know, like Breath of the Wild Link and like an Inkling or something or Pac Man. I mean, that'd be cool. I want uh, Dory, full size Dory from our lost <laughs> <on the board. laughs> With a T Rex, you can have the T. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. In yes. fact, I'm thinking about it. The T Rex is probably going to be a mini game. They'll probably do a mini game similar to the Chain Chomp one from the game. You can have like T-Rex. little rackets for his little arms. He's yeah, like trying desperately yeah. trying to hit That'd the tennis ball so back. <laughs> That'd be amazing. He should be a boss character. That'd be great. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys. Any final thoughts you want to get out there before we wrap it up? Any last minute things? One thing I really want, and this is really kind of petty, um, I-, I want the character select screen to have new renders, because I think Ultra Smash had, like, ones from 2004 or something, and it just felt so repetitive. I've got bad news for you, John, because we saw some artwork in the game that appears to be from Mario uh, Mario Party 6. From like oh, yeah, you're oh, right! In, really? In, in, um, in the court that's returning from Ultra Smash, yeah, in the background. <laughs> Oh, that's oh right. no. <laughs> There's my dream crushed. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so bizarre that they would use stuff from that game when, like, literally Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi all have different outfits now. Yeah. Like, that would be so weird to have, like, an old render of Luigi, and then it had, like, his hat on, and then when you click him, he ends up having the visor. That seems weird. I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Have you, Roger? Any final thoughts at all, or? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm excited for it. I was excited yeah. for it when it first got announced. I think this could be the return of good Mario sports games. I will yes. say though, I think it could also be the final nail in the coffin for me. <laughs> I think if they end up releasing this and I'm tricked and there's nothing in the story mode and there's no good online, I am never coming back to Mario Sports ever again because Ultra Smash really almost killed it for me. But I said, you know what? I realize it's the Wii U era. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll wait for the next real one. And then if this ends up being the next real one, that'll be fine. But again, if it's not, then I'm just done with Mario Sports for good. And that's okay. I'll just realize it's not for entirely? me. Entirely? Or just tennis? Just entirely. Okay. All of the Mario Sports games have been derivative to me recently, and I just don't care about them. I, yeah. I don't I don't blame you. Like, I mean, this is the time to turn it around. It's a start it's the first Mario Sports game on a new platform. Yeah. This is the chance to set the tone for the entire series. But I agree, they dropped the ball, so to speak, one more time. i it's hard to give them the benefit of the doubt any more than we already have. They have yeah. not made a game Camelot's not made a sports game I've loved in a long time. And we before this too, we even had non Camelot games, I believe. Well, who made the um the 3DS one, the recent 3DS. Uh, oh, sports um, what sports mix? mix? Yeah, was that no, Camelot? Wait, w- w- um, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, it may, I think it might be a couple different developers, but like, what a weird idea! You take a bunch of like bare bones sports games and combine them into one, and no, the game still isn't great overall, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, they, this really needs to be their turnaround moment. Yeah, I, and I, I really, I genuinely feel that too. Not just because like the Mario series has seemed boring recently, but I think it's because. You now have so many other good arcade sports types games that are on the Switch already. I mean, in the first year of the Switch, we have Golf Story, we have Rocket League, we have Super Beat Sports. Like, there's other things that could fill that niche for me. And if Mario's not going to do it, then I'm going to go somewhere else. (laughs) Right. One interesting thing earlier was when you asked for new characters to be in this game. I was thinking back, and because this generation, or the previous generation, was so... Um, so tight about including new characters into the Mario series, it's kind of hard to think of new um, inclusions. And this is this is the time. This is the time to just bring in, uh, just go off the walls and have some crazy additions in you know, not just not just in tennis, but in the RPGs. Like have new characters and everything like that. Yeah. This is the time to just go crazy with the brand. Yeah, they could bring back the uh, Bean Bean Kingdom and those citizens, maybe. Oh my God, Prince Peasley is literally dream roster territory. Oh. If they pull Prince Peasley <laughs> in there, 
Or oh Fall Fall. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, what, what have we done? You know that's not going to be the case. No, it's we never going to happen. Oh, we just ruined it. <laughs> Man, all right. Well, before we ruin things too much, I guess we should wrap it up. John, where can people find you at? They can find me on Twitter at Nomcoms, and they've also uh, just joined Nintendo. We're doing a little thing together. Um, the title is in preparation at the moment. We haven't got a name yet, but uh, we are just uploading stuff to his channel now, so that's that's happening. All nice. right, exciting. And how about you, Roger? Where can people find you at? Uh, you can find me at Roger's Base on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. And uh, you can also find my second channel, Game and Vlog, which is specifically gaming and vlogging. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, and that's linked <laughs> on my main page, Roger's Base, as well. And you'll find links to all that in the description below as well. And of course, stay tuned again. It's playing for lots more on Mario Tennis Aces and everything else Nintendo Switch as well. Thanks for watching, and catch you later. Bye.